forgive me these sudden summons. When I learned my daughter's champion was back in the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity. <laughs> and they call me head of resolve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The Lance Wilter, Stinian, he fought well enough. But our bow was ended before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? Do you think me unworthy? I'll soon change your mind. <laughs> the battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Come! Ready your arms and show me the truth of the tales. Be 
finished.
That will do. You've shown me more than enough. I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble. Hestinian <laughs> did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. I said I'd crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for calling you here. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. In some respects, she is much like me. Hard-headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your healing touch could sustain La Machi even as she contends with the most fearsome of foes. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Thank you. Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Whether it be as their promise or just a companion on the road, speak your mind. <laughs> well, I did ask you to speak your mind, but agreed, she is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Hmm. Lama Chi thinks she understands her many peoples, their histories, their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. 
I imagine you in particular have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, love them and being loved in turn. Guy Lamachi as you think best. Walk at our side and, when needed, push her to walk ahead. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. Let's take our leave of this battle-mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. over her champion. Kona's recruits are no less sharp, as one might expect of Gallop's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though. They dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings. And no good can come of it. <laughs> <laughs> 